Hello, my beautiful friends. How's everybody doing today? I'm actually getting ready to go to a pro basketball game. I've never been to one before, so I'm super excited. So I thought we could just hang out and have a little girl time and play around with some makeup. So go grab your makeup and let's do this together. So my son actually won these tickets through his work. Like I said, he is so good at what he does. They do it as like an incentive, you know, for them to upsell and stuff like that. We've gone to several hockey games and now we're going to go to this basketball game. So I'm super excited. And they actually got me this sweatshirt. Uh, this is what I'm wearing tonight. You guys, it says the Phoenix Suns. Um, they got it while they were in Arizona. And actually who's playing tonight is the Pistons, you know, who's from uh, Michigan. <laughs> and they're playing against the Arizona Suns. So uh, he's super excited because that's where they're moving, of course. But I'm not super loyal to any sports team, you guys, except the Red Wings. I will not become a traitor to my Red Wings. I love them. So when we do go to the Red Wing games, I wear my Red Wing jersey. Okay, you guys, let's just get into this. I got to hurry. They're going to be here in, a, uh, let's see, you guys, in about two hours. So <laughs> let's get started. So I'm actually just going to go in with my primer, my favorite one that I get on Amazon. So yeah, you guys, um, I actually, I have been to a pro basketball about to um game, I guess, a long time ago, but this is back like when in the 80s when I was a cheerleader. And the only reason why I attended that is, is um, we did like a halftime performance for them. And I, you guys, I don't even remember if we stayed for the game. I don't think so. I think we just basically went in, did our performance and left. So I really have never sat through um, a basketball, a pro basketball game ever. And he's got really close tickets, you guys. I think we're in the 11th row. So so it's going to be pretty exciting and you guys I don't even know who's on that team anymore okay you guys the palette I'm going to use is this one here I got it from um my tread mood box and it's called oh it's by Nabla and it's called um read my mind palette and it's actually quite interesting this palette here so it does have a, a mirror in here a pretty large mirror and it does have like that magnetic uh, closure which I do love that but this is the palette itself. I thought it was, you know, really interesting. It makes everything a little um, easier, you know, like each row has like a different name for it. So um, I just thought it was neat and we could just play around with that. And I think I just want to be simple, you guys. I don't want to go over the top going to a basketball game. So I think I'm going to mainly stay in this row here. Okay, you guys, let's uh, do this. And I think there is like one of those... That's what I was looking for you guys the other day. I love that sound. So I think I'm actually going to start with this shade here. I am going to incorporate actually all of them, uh, but I think I'm just going to start there. So have you guys ever been to a basketball game or are you guys huge sports fans? Um, like I said, I'm not a huge sports fan. But, you know, it's always different when you go to the event, uh, like a hockey game. Oh, gosh, I love going to a hockey game. And I love going to a, a baseball game. Now, I can't sit there and watch baseball on TV normally, but I have done it. But I do like baseball. It's not bad. Um, I like hockey, of course. I, I do love hockey. But I'm not going to sit there and watch every game on TV either. So, you know, that's about my extent of my uh, love for sports. But, and I do like watching golf now and then, you guys, believe it or not. Okay, so this is blending really good. Um, this is a really nice palette. I think this is like from Italy, you guys. I don't know. Um, I did read up a little bit on it because I never tried anything from Nabla. So um, I have seen them a lot over on the Trend Mood and over on Instagram, but ooh, this is a really nice shade. As you can see, it's just very natural looking. It's not over the top. It's like perfect for my skin tone, actually. We're going out to dinner, and we're actually just going to go to this little family Italian restaurant that we have always gone to, um, you know, the four of us, and my mom uh, will sometimes join us, too, and we just love it. You know, it's nothing fancy. Um, it's very reasonably priced and good food, though. You get a lot of food for the money. And yeah, we just really enjoy it. So we're actually going to uh, go there first and then head to the game. So I thought, you know, I could just show a little bit of clips, especially since they are moving. You know, I'm going to try to get them in my videos as much as possible before they do go. Okay, you guys, now I am going to uh, change up my brush here. And I think I'm just going to go to a smaller brush here. 
here. And the brushes I use is the BK Hot and Flashy um, all the time, you guys. They just work, you know, work really well with my hooded eyes. And this one is the A502, I believe. So it's just smaller from um, what I was just using. So now I'm just going to go into this uh, shade. Again, I think it's just going to go really well with what I'm wearing. And just add a little something to the look. And I'm not going to use a lot of it. Okay, this is blending really nice with that first shade here. Ooh, I really like that. It just kind of deepened it up a little, you know, a little there and added just that little orange that I was looking for and it's not too bright. So I'm super happy with how that is looking. So, ooh, that is nice. Yeah, these are really a buttery and there is a lot of kickback. I will say that, but I do find sometimes when there is the kickback, it, that usually means it's a nice buttery formula and as long as it's not too fine where it's not going to you know adhere to your eye this one as you can see you know like when I do that there's that kickback but it's really sticking to the lid and blending really well with that first shade like I said Ooh, I love that Okay, so now I am going to go into a smaller uh, brush here, even smaller than what I had. And this one is the A504. So again, uh, it's very tiny. And I think I'm just going to darken up this outer corner with this shade here. It's like a pretty rich chocolate color. So I'm just going to place a little bit just at the tip. And I'm just going to apply that on the outer edge here. I'm not going to take this up too much. I'm basically just doing um, a nice little V here. Again, just to add a little bit of dimension to the look. And pretty much just like that. As you can see, the difference that that made. It's just very subtle, but enough to you know, darken that up. Okay, you guys, let's swatch um, a few of these uh, shimmers just because they're so beautiful. Okay, so this is the one I think I'm going to use. That's in that top row with the rose, which is, you know, which is kind of interesting because it's more like a gold uh, color, but um, who knows, you guys. And this one here, ooh, that's kind of pretty too. Uh, that one is also in the first row, so I might be able to incorporate uh, this in that look, in this look, but you guys, like I said, I just want to keep things a little simple. Now that one is pretty light. That one is not super pigmented, but sometimes, you know, that is a good thing, you know, if you just want a softer look. And this is the one I was thinking of using as well. And that is in the same row uh, that I'm using everything right now. So they're not bad, you guys. And hopefully, you know, they do apply nice on the eyes. So uh, sometimes palettes are like that, you know, where the mattes are just better than the um, shimmers or vice versa. So let's see, you guys. Uh, so I think I'm actually going to start with... Um, again, I was kind of debating between this and this, but I do want to keep the, you know, things simple. So I think I'm just going to use uh, this one here and I'm just, now this one's more buttery and I'm going to place that on this outer corner and move it, you know, more towards almost like a halo type effect. So that, ooh, that is really pretty. And then what I'm going to do is going to the row that I've been using and use that shade here. So this is, um, it's called Honey, is this row. So this is just a slightly lighter. And I'm just using a very light hand and sweeping that into the other shimmer shade. Ooh, that is really pretty. Again, you guys, just very simple. And then I'm going to take um, that really small, if I can find it, you guys, a uh, brush that has the darker uh, chocolate shade on there and just kind of blend that into that gold and sweep it just right above it just to calm down all that shimmer. So I'm really liking uh, this look, you guys. This is exactly what I was thinking. Something simple, something uh, neutral, but it, you know, kind of does go with this shirt. Okay, you guys, I'm trying to think or debate if I just want to finish off the eyes and then move into the complexion. And what I think I am going to do, though, is uh, spray my uh, face with this Diabla. I've been absolutely loving this. It's called the First Spray Serum. Um, it is so hydrating on my face. So, um... 
going to do that. I'm always talking when I'm spraying, you guys. I don't know. And it, you'd think I would learn my lesson. So as you can see, the nice glow that just, you know, brought to my skin. I absolutely love it because my skin is so dry right now. And that just, you know, seems to be helping tremendously. Okay, so what I think I'm going to use now, you guys, is if you remember, I don't know, it was a couple of videos back. It could have been last video. I can't remember, you guys. But I, you know, bought that tool from Amazon and it looked like the mermaid and it was just a disaster. Well, I forgot, you know, back, um, oh gosh, a couple of months ago, Half Magic had actually collabed with BoxyCharm and I had gotten some of her stuff. So I forgot I had this. I was cleaning out my drawer. So this is what it looks like. It's called the, I don't know, I think it's called the Magic. Magic Magician or something like that, but it's kind of like the same a concept, you know, where you do this and you use this little silicone thing uh, to try to do a wing. So let's try that again. And you guys, I think what happened last time was my mirror was so far away and I was trying to do it in my uh, monitor here. So I'm actually going to bring up my um, 10 times mirror. So this might get in your way, but it's, you know, needed. And what I think I'm going to do is, and hopefully you guys will be able, you know, be able to see this, is I'm going to take my favorite um, liner, you guys. This is my new Holy Grail. I get this off Amazon. It's called Dormy. Me. And if you guys haven't seen it, um, it does have like a little hook here. And uh, yeah, you guys, it's just perfect for hooded eyes. And you might hear Kane. I think I'm getting a delivery right now. So what I think I'm going to do is line it up just like this. So, and there's different, you know, angles that you can use. And I think, oh gosh, you guys, it's so hard trying to get it to where everybody can see here. And, oh boy, I just messed up already. And then you just take it. I hope this is going to work, you guys. So, this is what it did. <gasps> Ooh, that made an excellent wing. Now, the thing is, you know, you might have to go back and just do some touch-ups, you know, where... I kind of skipped, but that is a great concept. Ooh, that worked out really good. Uh, now this one, the only thing I can explain um, the difference between that one, this one and the mermaid was the mermaid was super thick and this one I feel I can really, you know, keep it pressed against my skin. So what I did, you know, I used, you guys, so sorry about Kane. So I used this side, so now I'm just flipping it and using uh, this side here. So I am just going again just to line it up on my skin. And... So let's take it. Ooh, you guys, this is super easy. You know, like I said, if I wasn't trying to, you know, um, get everything in the monitor and just be able to really focus on my 10 times mirror here, this is amazing. What I like about it too is when I lined it up against my lower lash line, it's like almost perfect shape. So, uh, yeah, I really do uh, like that. So I will definitely uh, bring that back out. Okay. So now let's, uh, just curl the lashes. And I think for my lashes, I'm going to use my, uh, superhero, superhero, uh, by it cosmetics. And I love this mascara and I don't bring it out as often as I should, but it is really a nice mascara. Uh, this is the wand here. So it's a nice um, old school wand. It's not the plastic one. So let's see how well this works, you guys. So I do like how it really grips um, the lashes. As you can see, yeah, this is amazing. I mean, I've only put on just a few strokes. <laughs> Look at the difference. This is an awesome mascara. And a little tip with um, mascaras, you know, to avoid getting, you know, a lot of transfer is as you can see, I'm always looking down in a mirror. So my lashes are, you know, almost, I don't know, you guys, <laughs> not looking up. So they're far away from my upper lid. And I tend to put it way at the base. So I'm basically just blinking. And I just find that to be 
the easiest way to apply um, my mascara. So look at the difference. Wow. I mean, that looks almost like a faulty. So yeah, I love this mascara. I'm so glad I bought the full size. So I'm just going to finish off this other eye and we'll move on. Okay, let's get into the complexion. And I think I'm going to use this again. Uh, it's new by L'Oreal. It's their Prime Lab up to 24 hour pore minimizer. It has 1% AHA, LHA, and BHA. And you guys, I don't know. I just keep testing it because one day I absolutely love it. And the next day, you know, it could be tricky. So if you don't remember in my one of my videos, it left like a white cast. And I don't know if it's, you know, because I didn't let my um, sunscreen sit long enough. So I'm going to try it again. And I have been using it for work. And then I started, you know, getting some dry patches. So I didn't, I don't know if it's coming from this or just my regular skincare, which can happen, you guys, because I do use, you know, like Trentinoin and all that other stuff that can dry out your skin. But... I do want to just keep using this and really have a good um, idea about this product. But, you know, when it does work, it is amazing. So I do love how it feels on my skin. It has like a little bit of a cooling effect on it. Yeah, see, it is looking really good right now. I'm not seeing that white cast like I did that one day. My pores are super filled in. And maybe, you guys, I just didn't let that sunscreen sit, like I said, long enough. And I'm using the same sunscreen as I did that one day, which is that new e.l.f. one that I absolutely love. I did order the full-size one because I love it that much. Okay, you guys, and then I think for a primer, did I bring down a primer? Yes, I did. Um, I think I'm going to use this one here by e.l.f. I haven't used this in a long time. Uh, it's their Halo Glow Liquid uh, Filter. And I believe I got mine in the shade Light 3 or L3. So I'm just going to place a little bit on you guys. I will say this one is a little drier of a formula. I do love the glow that it gives. And my makeup really does last when I use this. Okay, let's see if it really interfered with that um, L'Oreal Primer. As of right now, it doesn't look like, you know, I don't see any pilling or anything like that. So that is a good thing, you guys. Okay, and I think for my foundation, I think I'm going to use this one. I've been using this nonstop. Uh, it's the True Match, and this is by uh, L'Oreal. And I got mine in the shade N3. Now, on their website, you guys, they have like 40, uh, 47 shades available. And I think it was only like $13.99. And you do get one fluid ounce, even though it looks so tiny, but it is one fluid ounce. So, and it's like a perfect match for me. So it is a little bit runnier of a consistency so I'm just going to place my little dots yeah you guys I do want to thank you so much um, as well for all of the amazing comments you know it was so uplifting after I mentioned that my son and daughter-in-law are moving to um, Arizona you know I'm still very uh, saddened by it I'm really just trying not to think about it right now but um, reading your guys' comments, and you know, a lot of you have been through the same thing, and it just made me feel so much better, and to know you guys are going to be here for me when the time, you know, does come, uh, does, you know, help so much. It's just, you guys are always so uplifting. I absolutely adore you guys so much, so thank you so much for all those great comments and stories and you know just to lift up my spirits you guys really did a great job in doing that so okay guys as you can see and I do have a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm just going to add a little bit more it is like the perfect shade match for me and I think it's super long wearing um if you ask me I wear it all the time to work and I come home and it looks really put together still, which is a miracle at work, if you ask me. So, uh, yeah, I barely even have to use my sponge. Ooh, and my pores look really nice. Okay, you guys, another blow I had, um, I don't even think I mentioned this, but my oldest sister, Janai, isn't that a unique name? Um, it, but that's her name, Janai. Um, she, right before the holidays, she moved to Florida. So I have a lot of changes happening in my life right now. And then the kids, you know, it's just a lot, you guys. So anyway, um, so my sister's living down in Florida. I think it's like around uh, Fort. Oh, gosh, you guys. I want to say Fort Myers. It could be Fort Lauderdale. I get all the forts <laughs> messed up. But um, so she's there. And I'm actually going to go visit her in March, um, like the second week, 
week of March. So I'm super excited about that. And I think that's just going to help with, you know, all the things, you know, with the kids coming up, um, you know, just that you know, little break I need. So super excited to go see her. And I'm not super excited of having to fly by myself because I'm just going just me, you guys. Daryl's going to stay back um, and work. So <laughs> poor guy. But, you know, I just spend a lot of time with my sister. We just have a blast and he would probably be bored out of his mind. So <laughs> and annoyed by us. So it's probably best that I'm just going down with my Myself, or by myself uh, this time. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to be going to Florida. I'm super excited. Okay. And oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I used the elf. Uh, and this is like the peach corrector. I love that in my inner corner. And then for my concealer, I think I'm going to use my Joa. And this is the perfect complexion uh, eye serum. I think it's like light neutral and some numbers or something like that, you guys. But I'm just going to place a little bit on the back of my hand, uh, just like that. And I am going to add just a little bit of um, rose hip oil. Just, oh, you guys, that's going to be way too much. So let me just remove a little bit. I just want like very little. So I just find that this really helps, you know, with my dehydrated under eyes. Okay, now I'm just going to use my BK Hot and Flashy Concealer Brush. And just really mix that on the back of my hand. And let's see if that rose hip oil helps. Yeah, they're just really dehydrated, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what to do about the my under eyes. You know, I just try everything. I'm always putting on moisturizer and all that good stuff, but they just want to remain dry. So look at the difference. I just love this Joa concealer. Okay, I'm just praying I get no makeup on <laughs> this white or it's like an off-white shirt, you guys. I This was probably not a great idea to apply my makeup while um I had this on. Okay, and I think to set my under eyes, you guys, I think I'm going to try this. This is that um Mally, and this is what it looks like. This is supposed to be powder. I don't know if you guys have seen this before in my, one of my videos when I was talking about it. But the way I like applying this is actually with the brush. It comes with like a little sponge. I just don't like that sponge. I don't know what it is about it, but um, I just like using a brush instead. So what I've been doing is just tapping it a few times. And I am just going to lightly set these under eyes. And I'm just going to get any possible creasing that may have happened. And I'm just tapping a few times. And applying this under the eye. I actually really love this uh, for under the eyes. It is just amazing. So the only thing is, is you can't tell where you're going because it's clear. And I also am going to place a little bit around my T-zone. And I've used this as a primer in my T-zone. And it works really good too. I love that under the eyes. It just sets it enough um, to where it's not going to crease, you know, too bad. And, you know, the nose, it just looks super blurred. So between, you know, the L'Oreal uh, and this Mally, it's it's a great combo, you guys. Okay, so I think I'm using mostly uh, powder products today. No, I'm lying, you guys. I did bring down a cream a bronzer. And I haven't used this in a long time. And it's by, you know, it's like a sister with a ColourPop. And it's uh, the Soul. And look how huge this is. This will last me a lifetime. And I haven't used this forever. So I just wanted to bring it back out and refresh my memory. And it does have like a really nice, I don't know, summer smell. So I'm just going to place a little bit. And hopefully I don't have too much on this brush. Nope, that looks pretty good. Now this is more like a, a warm shade, if you ask me. It can, I don't know, look a little orange sometimes, but if you just apply the right amount, it's actually a perfect. So um, I got mine in the shade light. This one is looking really good. I forgot how nice this product is. And this is super long wearing too, because it's almost like a powder finish. So yeah, in Florida, you guys, my sister, you know, I'm always seeing her uh, posting over on um, Facebook and stuff. And they are at the pool all the time. Like there has been no winter <laughs> there. Um, she says, you know, their cold is, you know, 70s. So I am so looking forward to some warm weather. Oh my gosh, I, it's just going to seem so weird for me to leave here in a winter coat and God knows what else, gloves and everything, and then get off the plane and it'd be like 80 degrees. So 
I am probably going to get off the plane and just sweating profusely because I am going to have all my winter gear on. So I'm just going to place a little bit on the side of my nose. Yeah, I forgot how much I really do enjoy this uh, sole product. And, you know, I in my head, I just felt like it was too orange or remember it being too orange. But it's not at all. It's actually a perfect shade. I love how it just, you know, created some warmth to my skin. So it really needed it. It needed some color. Okay, for blush, I think I'm going to use this one by Sephora. My daughter-in-law, she actually uh, turned me on to it. And this is in the shade Heated. And you're going to see... How beautiful this shade is. And this is like a nice buildable uh, formula. And it does have like a little bit of glow in it. Not glitter, but just a nice glow. I don't know. Hopefully you guys will catch that on camera here. But it's like the perfect shade. I saw her, you know, wearing it. I'm like, what is on your cheeks? That is absolutely stunning and a look beautiful on her and she told me and of course I had to go out and try to find it and they were sold out for the longest time so it must be a pretty a uh, common shade but oh I love it so I'm just going to place a little bit into my shadow here and I love doing this I just think that it just makes everything um blend together isn't that just absolutely gorgeous Ooh, I love that shade Okay, and I think I am going to add just a little bit of highlighter, but you guys, I'm going to wait on that. Um, I am going to add just a little bit of powder to set everything down, and I'm going to use my uh, Wet n Wild, and this is the uh, Photo Focus. I absolutely love this powder. I think it is amazing, especially for the price. I don't even think I paid uh, $5 for it. And the thing I love about it, you guys, is it's, you know, my makeup stays on really long when I use this. You guys, it's up there with, I think, with a lot of my high-end powders. I'm trying this little technique that I saw Juicy Jazz do, and I don't know, you guys, I'm just seeing, you know, with different products, if it makes a difference. She said using like a pressed powder and then going over it uh, with a um, loose powder just makes everything super smooth. So let's see if that is the case. Okay, so this does look way better than it did the other day with the other two powders I chose. Um, I love how that does look around the T-zone, doing it that way like she uh, suggests. And under the eyes, it does not look bad at all, I don't think. So I don't know if it smoothed it down anymore, but uh, it doesn't look horrible. Let's see. Let's go back into this beautiful palette, this Nabla. I'm going to go in this really deep um, chocolate shade there and place that in the outer corner. Then I'm going to take an angle brush here and I'm going to use this uh, shimmer in the upper corner and just put that more towards the inner corner and towards the center. Okay, you guys, I'm actually going to spray my face again with this uh, Diabla. I've been doing this a lot lately, and it really makes a huge difference. Again, this is just going to melt all these powders into my skin. Well, you guys will see. And it's just going to bring a beautiful glow. And I am not shy with any of my sprays, as you guys all know. And I am going to spray um, my little poof poof here just a little bit just to set a little bit under these eyes, just to get any powdery effect gone here, and it will really melt those powders into my skin. So as you can see, the beautiful glow that just gave. And this does add hydration, you know, throughout the day. And then over that, I've been using some setting spray, and that's been making a huge difference. It really locks and melts on my makeup even further. So what I think I'm gonna use today is my Milk Hydro, and this is the Grip Set and Refresh. Then I just take my Poof Poof, and really just kind of move all of the setting spray around, try to make it more even. And again, I go under the eyes just a little bit. But this just push, you know pushes it in and melts that makeup even a little further. Okay, so now I am going to use just a little bit of highlighter. And I'm going to use this one. I haven't used this in forever. Uh, it's by Makeup Revolution. It's their Bright Light. And this is in a strobe champagne. So it looks like that. Oh, that's super pretty. Uh, it doesn't look really glittery. And I think I'm just going to use my finger and see how that goes. And just kind of move that around. 
but I guess it's supposed to be like a kind of a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury. I hear some people say it is, and then some people say no, uh, not really. So, but it is actually very pretty though. I really like that, but I do find that that did dry down rather quickly. So it might be just be better to go in with the little applicator itself. I'm just going to place a little bit above my cupid's bow. Just a little bit on the tip of my nose. I do love that highlighter, but you do have to work really quick. Okay, to line my lips, I'm going to use my one by She Glam. I actually got this in my Willy Wonka collection. So there's really no shade on it, but it's a really nice deep uh, chocolate shade here. So let's see what this looks like. I haven't used this in a long time. Ooh, these are super creamy. Yeah, these go on... Really nice. Yeah, they just glide right across the lip and super easy to use. And they are ret uh, retractable, which I absolutely Keep love. Lipstick. I'm going to use this new one by e.l.f. It's their new O Face collection. And I actually got mine in the shade No Doubt. So it looks like this. It is such a beautiful neutral shade. These are super creamy. And I absolutely love the lid. You know, it's magnetic. So I just think that is so cool. So let's see how these two work together. Oh, this is like perfect. Again, these are super creamy. Oh, I love this combination. But I am going to apply a little bit of gloss over that. And I'm going to use this one by Fenty. I actually got this by one of our great friends here, Brenda. Uh, she sent this uh, to me as a gift. And this feels like almost like an oil. I absolutely love this formula. So this is what it looks like here. And I love that little uh, doe foot. So let's just place a little bit over that. Ooh, these are so creamy and hydrating. Mm, I absolutely love this formula. Okay, you guys, so this is today's final look. I think it's absolutely perfect for this basketball game. And if you want to stick around, I think I'm going to add some clips here of how the night went. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, if you please help me out by hitting that like button. I truly, truly appreciate it. I can't wait to see you guys again. I love you so much. And until next time. Last Sunday was a sad day. The day before was a Saturday. <laughs> oh my God. How did I not pick up on that? Right? Are you taping all this? Mm hmm.